People are social animals and like to be with other people. But sometimes we all need a little quiet time, perhaps after a hard day at work or a particularly refreshing lunch. Or perhaps after just putting the children to bed for the third time. Getting ready for a night out can take Melissa up to an hour. Getting ready for a quiet night in takes under 20 seconds, or a minute if it's a posh night in with trousers. So far this evening, Margarine has put toothpaste on a spot and eaten a whole bag of Bombay mix. Now she's binging on back-to-back -back episodes of Honey, I Bought a Boat with her eyes closed. Carpe diem, thinks Margarine. Margarine? Margarine? Stupid name. As we grow older, fish fingers in an early night stops being a punishment and becomes a treat. This New Year's Eve, Glebe is staying in with a wine box in a Jules Holland Hootenanny in which she does not recognise anyone except Jules Holland. He falls asleep on the sofa at ten to midnight and misses the bongs. He has still had a better New Year than anyone fighting to get a taxi home from a ticket-only town centre pub. Middle age has its privilege. Marianne has been staying in watching old episodes of Sex in the City for two weeks now. The women in the show remind Marianne of her and her friends. Except that the women in Sex in the City never stay in for two weeks watching old episodes of Sex in the City. There's a pop disco at the community centre tonight, but the word community brings Davy out in a cold sweat. Some people suffer from FOMO, the fear of missing out. Davy is delighted that he has 4G, the fear of joining in. Just like humans, hedgehogs sometimes like to curl into a ball and sleep for a very long time. Unlike humans, they do not finish the leftover ooze at the back of the drinks cabinet first. Rhea and Gus are about to put the children to bed. Thursday night is date night. They will spend 40 minutes going through the Netflix menu, not deciding on anything. Then they will fall asleep. It is good to have some time to yourself. Vaughan is staying in and doing some reading. He has a pile of books he's been meaning to read since Christmas. He reads and he reads and he reads. He reads for hours. <laughs> then he looks up from his phone. It's nearly bedtime. So he opens one of the books. Ian does like a quiet night in. Orca and Kong refuse all social invitations that involve leaving their house. Their friends come to them for dinner instead. They save money on eating and drinking out. They save money on trains and taxis and petrol. They save money on babysitters. Bring a bottle, they tell their friends, and some nibbles. They have not actually served a dinner in years. Today's homes boast every modern convenience. Is it any wonder so many people like a quiet night in? There's television, there's coffee and magazines, there are books and furniture. This home even has a robot space switch filled with hot strawberries. Who needs to go out? <laughs> Linda booked two tables at the Egg and Crown pub for her birthday party. She has spent three weeks worrying that nobody will come, whilst also worrying that everybody will come and there'll not be enough space. The stress has given her a cold sore, so she stays at home in a horrible mood until her flatmates return with cake. Darius and Ronco have decided to spend the evening in their hammocks watching YouTube. Their previous plan was to spend the evening down the skate park watching YouTube. All the latest cinema films on Oisel's home streaming service seem to be aimed at teenagers with no attention span. This is why I never pay to go to the cinema, laughs Oswald. Which is why none of the cinema films are made for people like Oswald. In her twenties, Andrea would have spent most Saturday nights dancing until daybreak to Belgian nosebleed techno in a shed. Tonight, Andrea is staying in to try out her new hoover. The motor is so quiet she can hear Radio 3. 
on this many pills, it all sounds incredible. In 1961, US astronaut Breck Redison broke the record for the longest continuous quiet night in, spending 52 hours in geostationary orbit on the dark side of the moon with a pile of Sunday supplements. On splashdown, he refused to emerge from the capsule until he had finished his bath. <laughs> Kitteridge is doing dry January and staying in a lot more. Dry is a perfect word for how conversations down the pub sound now he's not drinking. Oh. Clytemnestra has been trying on different outfits and putting things in her hair all evening. If she sets off now, by the time she gets to the Colosseum, all the Christians will have been eaten. <laughs> I'll just stay in and watch this mosaic I'm into, she decides, and opens an amphora of Lambrini. What a name. Mordecai and four friends are seeing how close to the wire they can all cancel a social drink they've had planned for over a month. Working late, childcare, family commitments, they have all thought of clever reasons. The last to call is a loser. Nobody wants to look like the sort of person who has nothing else in their life except fun. Jesmond is burying a batch of his home-brewed hollyhock and cardamom champagne in the garden, where it can calm down a bit. Drinking homemade beer and wine in your own home is a good way of saving money and putting you off beer and wine. Domingo is having yet another quiet night in. His friends are going out to drink mead and consider the lilies, but Domingo wants to stay in and wash the size of his hair. <laughs> Julia does not want to go out to eat. She does not want to cook. She does not even want to order anything off this takeaway menu because it would mean getting up to answer the door in her backup pyjamas and speaking. <laughs> I've got some leftovers in a bag from last night, she thinks. If there are no witnesses, two nights of crisp for dinner is probably fine. The end. Don't forget to like and subscribe and press the wee bell notification. And a huge big thank you to all my subscribers and patrons. See you next week. Bye bye. <laughs>